Welcome to Data Structures. It's no surprise that in this course we're going to be focusing on data structures and algorithms. This is going to be a completely C++ course, so we will be dealing with a lot of dynamic memory because most data structures are going to have an abundance of dynamic memory. We're going to split this up into two sections that are going to kind of alternate. Uh, we're going to write custom implementations of uh, several of the key data structures due to the fact that we want to understand how these data structures work and what's going to be best in any given situation. We'll talk more about that as we go through the individual lectures. We're also going to take a look at the STL or the standard template library. This is probably what you'll end up using most of the time out in the industry uh, if you're working in C++. Other languages have their own built-in implementations of many of the key data structures, so you would probably be using those versions unless you needed to do something specific that those do not. Uh, we'll also be looking at some data structures that do not have built-in versions such as binary search trees. So in those cases we won't be able to do an A-B comparison between the built-in versions and the ones that you'll write yourself. We'll also be looking at diagramming. Diagramming is extremely important when dealing with data structures and pointers so that we can understand and see, visualize, where these pointers are connecting to. It'll make it a lot easier to do some of the things that we need to do in this course. Additionally, we'll be writing a lot of algorithms. We'll talk more about algorithms uh, in the first lecture or two, but we will be doing tons of them. Basically everything that we're doing is going to be an algorithm, and that's going to require us to employ our critical thinking skills. As programmers, we are problem solvers first and foremost, so we are going to look at how to become better problem solvers. While we're working from home, we will be doing live lectures on Zoom on most Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. The complete schedule will be broken down in an activity on FSO titled Zoom Lecture Info and Archive. We will also upload the lectures to YouTube so that you can reference them again if you need to. Labs will be hosted on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Zoom at 5 p.m. and the link to those labs will be posted on the Discord channel when they are starting. Professionalism has changed quite a bit as we are working off campus. I will highly encourage all campus students to attend as many lectures as they can as well as online students, although I understand that time zones and other commitments may impede this. All students will also be required to do daily stand-ups, which I'll go more into detail about during the first live lecture. Make sure that you participate on Discord. It's an excellent resource and a way for you to connect with your classmates, both campus and online, and help each other through this course. The lab instructors and I routinely check the channel throughout the day, so please ask any questions you have in there. Don't direct a message an instructor unless you are asked to. Uh, many of you are going to run into the same problems, so we can help each other out and save time just talking in the main channel most of the time. Outside of the first lab, which is a debugging lab, all of the labs will be done in a single project and will only be turning in a single file on most days. Uh, these are going to make heavy use of unit testing which is designed to modularize the labs and allow you to tackle them in pretty much any order you desire uh, outside of some basic stuff like your constructors and destructors. Uh, I would encourage you uh, when you're working on these labs if you get stuck on a particular method to just move on to a different method. So these do not need to be done in a top-down approach. You can jump around uh, throughout the lab because of the way the unit tests are written. Uh, and these are going to be set up in a pass-fail type of system for each method that you write, and we'll look into that in more detail 
uh, either in the first live lecture or in another activity. Uh, as I mentioned on a previous slide, these labs are going to alternate between you writing your own versions of key data structures and using in the built-in version when we can. Labs for campus students will be due before the next lecture. So if the first lecture and lab is on Monday and the next lecture is on Wednesday, then that first lab is going to be due on episode Tuesday night at 11.59 Eastern. Uh, for online students, uh, all labs for the week will be due on Sunday night, uh, but I do encourage you to work on those early if you can. Uh, labs will be accepted up to three days late uh, with a penalty of 10% off per day. And if you are turning in labs late and FSO does not allow you to submit it via the, the normal submission uh, guidelines, then go ahead and submit that via feedback, and we will uh, get to that during our next round of grading. There will be two exams in this course, uh, a midterm and a final. Both will be on FSO as 20 question multiple choice tests. On the lecture preceding either of these exams, we will go over the topics that will be covered on those exams, so make sure you check those lectures out. Here's the grading breakdown for this course, uh, the first of which would be watching this video and clicking complete so that you understand all of the pertinent information about this course. Uh, we're also going to, of course, have the 10% for professionalism. This is going to be split between attendance, which is going to include your daily stand-ups and Discord participation, so make sure that you're doing both of those. The debugging lab, the first lab that we'll be getting to, will be a 5% lab. We'll talk more in detail about that lab once we get to it because it is a little bit different than the other labs as far as the grading is concerned. There are then going to be eight individual labs that are going to obviously focus on data structures. These are going to be all evenly weighted at 8% apiece, so that's going to be the majority of the grades in this course, and then the midterm and the final will each be 10%. And finally, some tips on how to succeed in this course. First and foremost, be active. Go to as many of the live lectures as you can, participate in them, ask questions, go to the labs, and also ask questions. Even if you're okay with the content, go to the labs anyways and use that time as a structured work environment. Get your lab done early so that you don't have to worry about it at the last minute. Be active on Discord. Ask questions if you don't understand something. Even if it's a review question, we have no problems answering those. Answer questions that you know the answers to from fellow students. Right? Participate. Help each other out. You're all in this together. Spend adequate time on the, con the projects. Don't, don't procrastinate and wait till the last minute. As soon as the lecture is over and you're in that lab, start working on the project. It will be a much less stressful time for you. 